If a tomato is genetically engineered with a fish gene, is it still vegan? My name is Pat Thomas and I'm from the group Beyond GM. Most people, when they think about genetic modification, they think of this sciencey, techy thing that's beyond the comprehension of, of most of us. What we try to do at Beyond GM is to make it understandable. What you find is that the need is really led by the market. The market wants to produce more, more cheaply. This is a salmon into which eel genes and certain growth hormones have been spliced so that it will grow twice as fast as other salmon. And what that means is our supermarkets and our restaurants have more salmon, more times of year for more people. And restaurants are the target for these things because restaurants don't have the kind of labeling issues that we have in supermarkets where you have to tell people that it's genetically modified. So chefs are directly in the firing line at the moment when it comes to GMOs and they need to know more about it. We're bringing together chefs from all around the world for an amazing week of events around the Chef's Manifesto. There'll be a huge space in which you can ask questions and find out more about sustainability and how you can get involved in creating a much healthier food system.